Yo, what is going on, everybody? I am your host, Slackers Game, and bringing you the next episode in our potential newcomer DLC tournament kind of thing. So, uh, real quick, if you are new, there's a couple rules I want you to follow. So, you get one vote per person, and I check if you vote more than twice, I only count one of your votes. But the way I want you to vote in the matchup, and we will go over a few characters, you know, the two characters in today's matchup. The way I want you to vote is pretend Nintendo came to you and said, well, here's the matchup for the day. It's going to be Steve from Minecraft and Lloyd Irving from the Tales of series. And I'll get in, you know, I'll try to make a case for him uh, in just a little bit. But pretend Nintendo comes to you and says, all right, you get to pick. Would you rather have Steve as DLC or Lloyd Irving for DLC? Who would you pick? That's how I want you to vote. It, it's completely up to you. It doesn't matter if they're, you know, a cis trophy, a Pokeball Pokemon, a stage hazard, a steer, sticker, a spirit, whatever it is, throw it out the window. It doesn't matter. Who would you personally vote for? So that's how it goes. But again, one vote per person. Vote down in the comments by simply typing the name. Pretty simple. Easy to do. Double elimination tournament. So character has to lose twice before they are officially eliminated. And then uh, if there's a tie, I'll flip a coin to break the tie. Pretty simple. All right. So we usually go over uh, the results from the previous week because voting stays open for one week as well. That way, tournament just keeps on moving along. But um, we go over results for last week, which was last Monday, which was game. I don't remember the game, but it was uh, between Ryu Hayabusa and Skull Kid. Again, there's a few assist trophies in this tournament. A couple have been eliminated so far. But uh, we got one today, so we're going to go over the results. And again, it was always interesting to see how people reacted to, oh, is there? there's another assist trophy in here. I'm not voting for them because they're an assist trophy. That stuff doesn't matter for this tournament. This is just for fun. But here's the results down here. Skull Kid ends up winning a pretty close one, actually. 39 votes for Skull Kid, 33 for Ryu Hayabusa. So Ryu Hayabusa eliminated. Skull Kid ends up moving on. So congrats to Skull Kid survives for at least one more round so congrats there and then um yeah we shall now go to today's matchup this is the one you would vote for if you're new steve from minecraft or lloyd irving from the tales of game so let, let's let's do this right so first up steve from minecraft now if you're a smash fan or you talk smash dlc to anybody that's excited about smash there's a good chance they're going to bring up, hey, I want Steve from Minecraft in the game, right? There's there's a lot of people that are for it. There's a lot of people against it. And just because they don't think the style, you know, the, the animations don't really fit Smash, and I understand that. But you can't, I don't think anyone can argue the fact that Steve is a really big, it, it's hard to say, like he's an iconic character. People know who Steve is. Like, personally, I have never played Minecraft, ever, never once, not on any system, no handheld, if it's on handheld, I've never played Minecraft, I just don't see the appeal of it, it doesn't interest me, never played Minecraft, but I, I, I know who Steve was, you know, he's practically the face, some people still consider him like an indie character, but Microsoft owns him, so it's not really an indie character anymore, sure he started that way, but he's not an indie character anymore. I don't know. that's also another kind of debate itself. So, But anyway, Steve is a big-time character. People know him. He's from an extremely popular uh, video game, Minecraft. He's all over, I'm pretty sure, many uh, platforms, PlayStations, Xboxes, Nintendo. I know he's on the, it's on the Switch, right? Was it on the Wii U as well? I don't know. Was it on the 3DS? I don't know that either. Uh, but... Yeah, you can't argue he's a big he's a big name. People know who he is, and just to have maybe some sort of Minecraft content in Smash isn't really out of the realm of possibility. To be fair, I mean, again, it kind of depends on how Nintendo was looking at DLC. There's been the rumor for a while that um, that Vergaben leaker said there's Minecraft content in Smash, and now it's looking to be it's going to be DLC. Vergaben said there's a Minecraft boss in the world of light i don't know so maybe steve isn't a playable character who knows that's still all up in the air we'll find that out <laughs> eventually but steve big character you can't you can't argue that if he got in smash you know people would know him people would buy him you know popular character and that's what dlc is you want to push dlc you want to sell as much of it as you can especially if they kind of worked out some sort of an agreement to, all right, Microsoft gets, you know, X amount of the profits to, you know, 
make them happy. Whatever it is, you know, they want to push more and more of it out there. And of course, big characters, uh, it, it would work. I'm already buying the fighter pass. So, I mean, if Steve was in there, he's not really a character that I'd be like, woohoo. It's just kind of like, all right, I'll give him a shot. You know, I'll play as him, see what he's all about. But uh, I don't know. Steve is, um, I think he has a strong case, but you can also kind of make a case against him in a way. But either way, we got to move on to his opponent as well, which is Lloyd Irving from the Tales of series. Again, another series I've never played. But I still know who the character is. And I think there's a good chance a lot of you do too. When talking Smash DLC or just Smash rosters in general before the games come out, Lloyd Irving's always a name that gets thrown around. I mean, Lloyd did have that uh, me outfit in Smash Wii U and 3DS. He had the me me costume. So, I mean, that kind of goes to show, I guess, how Sakurai or Nintendo kind of looks at the character at least. So, I it's, it's a very decent possibility that... Lloyd could be considered, honestly. I, I wouldn't be surprised. And I know he, he'd kind of be like another sword user, but he's a dual sword uh, wielder, if I'm not mistaken, um, by a little bit of research I kind of did on him. So dual sword user, I guess that you could... I, I don't I don't have no ideas off the top of my head because I don't know how his character works, but maybe getting like dual sword, you know, incorporated somehow in the moveset, you know, throw in a sword and then slash it. I, I don't know. I don't have any ideas how his moveset would work besides using swords. But um, let's see. So he was, what, the Tales of Symphonia? I think that's how you say it. It was on the GameCube. He was the main uh, character in that. And then he was also in another Tales of game on the Nintendo Wii as well. Plus he was also in the, um, the Soul Calibur Legends as a guest character, which was... I, I didn't even know that, which was also on the Wii, I believe. So, I mean, that was pretty cool. So, Lloyd has already crossed over into other, you know, franchises, which, I mean, hey, I mean, if he if you've crossed over into another franchise, you know, fighting kind of style-wise, why not make it Smash? He's another... I, I won't say Lloyd is as big of a name or a big of a draw as Steve could be, but he still would be a draw, honestly, and I think... You can definitely make a case for both these characters. I mean, again, like, like the there's the me outfit again. Even Nintendo released a specific one of those QR codes that you can scan to get this specific me looking exactly like this, which was, I don't know, maybe Nintendo really liked the Lloyd character and maybe they want to put Lloyd as DLC. Maybe they're really because isn't Lloyd uh, isn't the Tales of game like a a Bandai Namco kind of. Um, company doesn't bandai make the game and again bandai's working on smash so maybe it's you know another way of nintendo kind of saying all right hey thank you for working on the game with us again you know let's let's get one of your characters we'd love to put one of your characters in as dlc split the profits with you you know just to show our thank you for you know helping us uh make the game again that's a good possibility honestly so kind of comes down to who, who am i voting for Again, I've never played Minecraft. I've never played the Tales of series, but when I look at the two and I kind of understand them a bit, kind of how they might work, my vote is easy. I'd rather see Lloyd Irving. I might be in the minority. Maybe we'll be in the majority. I don't know. Should be interesting nonetheless, but yes, my vote, Lloyd Irving, I think, I just I just like the character, but just kind of like the, the vibe about him. I, I, think, I think he'd fit well in Smash, and I do agree with a, a lot of people say, Steve just the animations just wouldn't work the I don't know it's just, it's just he does I don't know whatever whatever I'll just leave it leave it to you guys down in the comments so yeah who you got Lloyd Irving or Steve from Minecraft pretty simple one vote per person just type their name in the comments so let's uh, show you a sneak peek for tomorrow's episode Gino taking on Paper Mario a Paper Mario RPG game so huh? all right cool 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 should be an interesting one I like that but um and then the sneak peek for the we'll get the results from another interesting one should be I can't wait to check this out uh, but the results for tomorrow will be Waluigi and Edelgard Edelgard's the from the Fire Emblem Three Houses game so should be cool should be interesting to see how people look at those two characters a lot you know they're they're both controversial we'll say in I guess do people want another Fire Emblem character to people. Well, we, I don't know. That's for tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Anyway, that is going to be it for this one. 
Um, yeah, not much more to say other than who you got down in the comments. Vote. Steve or Lloyd Irving, pretty simple. Nothing more to say. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much going to wrap up this one. Um, yeah, nothing else to say. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one as usual, and hopefully we catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.